I met him in a sun-kissed breeze as he fell out of his yellow hat. He was a disaster. I saw it coming, a natural calamity that tasted like cheap whiskey with coke. His imagination fired up my riled up world, shattering everything that I knew and believed. He was my pull in a world of doors full of push. And the day that our eyes locked, my stomach did a backflip and my heart a somersault. Our lips met in a summer garden as he tasted the ice cream from my mouth with the tip of his tongue and before the rest of it hit the ground, I had fallen in love. And perhaps love always was about whirlpools or windmills or anything else that knocks the breath right out of your lungs. And kisses were always stolen moments in time, a rip in the space-time continuum because everything slowed down a little and yet sped faster than a lightning spark, our gravitational waves intersecting like a blizzard meeting a rainstorm, damaging our sensory organs and ruining us for anyone else. Yet he... He... He refuses to be loved. He breaks me. When I try to love him, he breaks me, he breaks me, he breaks my spirit. Some days, he elevates me to worlds where there's nothing but our souls alone. When I look at him, his eyes glow. Like embers on a scalable tree on a full moon night, my lover is bipolar. His body is made of gold, his heart liquid sunshine. Some days, He's wild like the restless sea, the rest he drops soft kisses on my lips and cheeks. He treats my body like thieves returning to their den with a sense of familiarity, with curiosity to explore new corners and edges. He cowers underneath the sheets and makes a fort out of our bed. Then there are days when he wouldn't let me touch him or near him or look at him. We, we, we don't exactly have finesse in the way that our spoons clunk, but honestly, one thing always leads to another, and it always leads to us falling back in love with our clothes on the floor and my laundry in his mouth. Neil scratches and comebacks, my head spinning, my hands losing direction of where his body ends, hands over our heads, and maybe we're way over our heads too. We're in a losing battle against entropy. And any trigger could set him off from euphoria to monstrous rage. Red goes to green, there is no yellow, there is no in-between. And I watch him suffer. And I sing to him, I love your depression. And I love your double chin. I love most everything. My heart skipping as he says that he loves me. You're selfish, you're mean, you disgust me. The next moment he would scream and run out to the streets and I would chase him down. Bare feet, my lover is bipolar. He scares me. Loving him is not easy. Yet knowing this, Despite my best intentions, I spiral towards him like a hurricane that hurls inside the remains of a parked car waiting to be destroyed. Because honestly, his words are enough to electrify my insides and I swear what I'm saying is not romanticized. Our love was that of extreme parasite and almost every time that I threatened to leave, he would change his shapes to fit my vessel and my vessel would change all the more with his love. I hate you. H-A-T-E, 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 that spells love. He says, I'm sorry. You love me. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. He whispers and breaks down crying. He would rest his head on my lap and tell me stories of his childhood love and his favorite cartoons, Pop the Builder and Scooby Dooby Doo, and I would forget his violence and his depression and his paranoia, my lover, his bipolar, his body is made of gold, his heart is soggy like tea dipped butter toast and I can feast on him for days without a break yet he, he, he refuses to be loved he breaks me 
Thank you. Uh, hi, my name is Hanita Bhamri, and I'm a singer-songwriter. And the piece that I just performed right now was called Finding Yellow. It was about uh, being in a state of feeling constant passion and agony and swinging between those two extremities all the time, feeling confused, feeling helpless. Um, the song that I'm going to be singing uh, is going to be something about, it's completely opposite to that. It's about feeling lukewarm, feeling no extremes. And uh, I hope you're able to relate to that just as much as you like this one. Uh, this piece is called Oceans. To close your eyes to see me better Or picture a face that isn't mine To crave my smell when I'm not around Or to spare it when I am When you look into my eyes Do you feel the ocean of emotion? Does a random passing thought occupy your mind? When I'm naked, does my warmth make your heart glow? Or is it not enough to reach you through your clothes? Does your flesh sing a happy song? Do you miss me? When I am gone, do you want me at all? Do you turn on the lights to see me better? Or are you afraid of darkness? Do you kiss my skin with your fire? Or is it an act of kindness? When you kiss my lips, do you feel the oceans of emotion rising carelessly and wild? Does a random passing thought occupy your mind? Happy song, do you miss me when I am gone? Does your flesh sing a happy song? Do you miss me when I am gone? Does your flesh sing a happy song? Do you miss me when I am gone? Do you want me? Thank you.